Welcome to Odin Sun Entertainment. Please drop a like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for future content. Welcome, boys, girls, and puppets of all ages, to an episode of Lies of P. This is Odin Sun, and I have not made any content on this game surprisingly, but I decided to do so once I've reached this point in the game because I came across the Walker of Illusions. Now this particular mini boss is the hardest that I've faced up until this point in the game. And for good reason, because she's highly erratic. She has a very crazy set of moves and then she does this disruption scream that really messes you up. Now, I've not really had too much problems with previous bosses uh, for the simple fact that you, you know you can sprinkle a specter in here and there and for the most part with a few throwable items you can pretty much uh, you know take over the fight and kind of make it yours but with this particular mini boss she is uh, pretty on you the whole time man like she doesn't give you a rest to the point where I couldn't even repair my weapon in a few matches and I don't even want to get into how many times that I face this uh, character I mean a lot like you know, I've went up against her with every damn weapon I could think of, and time and time again, she just beat me down to the point where I just had enough, and I decided that I was going to take a breather, go out in the world, and farm a bit of ergo and try and level up before I faced her. Now, when it comes to early game ergo farming, the workshop union entrance is going to be your best bet. You got four super basic enemies followed by a somewhat big guy with the wheel on his back. Without any P organ upgrades or the ergo amulet, you're going to find yourself netting roughly about 813 per run, but you're going to get a boatload of consumables along the way. It's totally worth it for the early game players. But if you're a bit later game, I highly suggest our next location. Next on our list is Grand Exhibition Gallery. At this point in the game, you should have Ergo Upon Death 1 and 2 plus the Amulet. This is going to net you 1,365 per minute, and it is the best Ergo farm at this point in the game, I guarantee you. Not only do you get a bunch of Ergo, but you also get crafting materials along the way. Now last but definitely not least, my favorite of all Ergo Farms is the Lorenzini Arcade. The reason being is because with the two P organ upgrades and the Ergo Amulet, you're going to net yourself 2,450 Ergo per minute and a half. Not only that, but you also get a bunch of crafting materials and throwables too. Now, I suggest coming in here with a heavy weapon and fire for your blade and a fully upgraded puppet string to make short work of these enemies. Now I ended up farming this location for quite some time. I'm not even exactly sure how long I farmed it because the idea here was is to get enough ergo to level my character up to the point to where I could not only beat Walker of Illusions but I could humiliate that bitch because she really got to me. <laughs> like I haven't had a boss in a video game piss me off this bad in a really long time So I hope you guys enjoyed me totally beating the shit out of this boss Man, I really wish I'd have had my audio recording at the time of this fight uh, in this particular moment because I was hype beyond hype. I mean, this particular mini boss took a significant chunk out of my life in the past few days. Now, as always, if you like this content and you want to see more of it, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification, and I will see you next time.